what you didn't do. Welcome so. back to my channel and welcome to another quarantine cooking video. So today we are about to whisk up a delicious sweet treat using ripe bananas. So you ever get to where your bananas are at a certain point where like nobody in your household wants to really eat them because they're a little more mushier? This is the perfect time to use them. So if you're still in quarantine and your bananas are going bad, not really going bad, but like I said, they're getting to kind of like that little mushy stage and you're like, hmm, I don't want to just throw them away because we don't want to be wasting food during this time. This is a perfect recipe to use those overripe bananas and whip up a lovely sweet treat. We are going to be making banana chocolate chip okay, muffins. So what you need for this recipe is going to be three ripe bananas. Now, just a little tip. Say you want to make this recipe and you do not have ripe bananas already on hand. You can take three bananas pop them in the oven on 350 and watch them for about five to eight minutes. I say that because just depending on how ripe your banana already is, it's gonna depend on how long you need to leave them in the oven. But basically what the oven is just doing is softening up that banana. And I mean, just pop the whole entire thing. Get a baking tray, pop your bananas on there, give them a few minutes, check them. You can just slice a little piece of it and they'll start to soften up and those natural sweetness is gonna come out of the bananas. And that's what we're looking for because that's gonna be the main ingredient. The recipe. ingredients you're gonna need are your three ripe bananas. You're gonna need two um, eggs. You're gonna need a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. You're gonna need some baking powder, just a little um, teaspoon, a teaspoon of salt. You're gonna need two thirds cups of sugar. The icing on the cake are some chocolate chips. This is like just makes it that good sweetness. It just makes it so delicious. But if you wanna cut calories and maybe you don't like chocolate chips like that, feel free to use maybe like some crushed nuts or anything like that or just make a banana muffin. The thing we're so, what we do is we are going to preheat our oven on 350. So I'm gonna preheat. Gonna get my oven preheated on 350. Now, I like to actually use a muffin pan. So this is um, a big muffin pan. I consider this right here to be a cupcake pan in my opinion. But these ones are gonna be smaller so they're gonna cook a little faster. But I really do like to make an actual muffin. So. Um, but feel free to use the cupcake pan. All right guys, so we're gonna start by whisking our two eggs in a bowl. So we're gonna whisk our eggs up really good. And I learned to make this recipe from one of my coworkers named Susan a couple of years ago before I moved to Texas. Um, but she used to make these and she would bring them into the office and oh, let me tell you, they were just so good. I would get so excited every time she was like, I'm going to be making them tonight. I always literally need like three of them. And that's how I started making them big because she actually used a big muffin pan. She wasn't making them in small little cupcake sizes. So, oh, it's so delicious. So we're going to add two thirds cups of sugar into our, um, eggs. So I don't have two thirds cup measuring cups. So I'm gonna use one. And, um, I have a one third cup. So just use two of those if you don't have two thirds cup. We're gonna add our sugar and we're gonna get it all mixed in there really good. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys is we're gonna be using some room temperature butter. Be sure that it is room temperature because um, since we're not really using any main liquids in this recipe, the eggs and the sugar and the melted butter combined is really gonna be our liquid to these muffins. This bowl, I have my, um, my ripe bananas and you wanna just, I just take a fork and I just mash them nice and as smooth as you can, but honestly guys, they don't have to be like liquid smooth, but that's the whole point of like using them when they're ripe um, because they're nice soft and it gets those natural sweetness. 
to come out. We're gonna add the mashed bananas into our, um, our eggs and our sugar mix. Oh, our oven has preheated. All right. Then we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla. All right, and just wanna whip this on up and get this whole mixture nice and combined. All right guys, so I have my bananas, my eggs, my sugar, and my vanilla nice and mixed up. So we're gonna, in a separate bowl, I've mixed together, I poured a cup and a half of flour. We're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt into the dry bowl. All right, so for this part, I like to use my hand blender instead of the whisk to really get my dry ingredients incorporated with my wet ingredients. chocolate chips honestly to be honest I really don't ever um, measure my chocolate chips I just feel like I want a good amount I mm. Mm -mm -mm. we're gonna take our pan and we are going to fill this baby up about oh, I want to say about two more big muffins so I'm gonna go ahead and stick these six in the oven All right guys so our muffins are now in the oven they're gonna be in there for about 25 30 minutes this recipe is so delicious these muffins come out nice and moist and those chocolate chips really add a nice sweetness to the muffins so I cannot wait Mommy, for you yes guys you know the muffins gonna be done um they're gonna be done about 25 minutes I'm so ready are you guys ready yes oh, all right guys so isn't your melted butter over there? My butter? <laughs> Tell us what you did or what you didn't, didn't do. So I actually forgot to add the melted butter to the batter. And haven't you made this a lot of times? <laughs> I have. So I don't understand how in the world I managed to forget to add the butter in to the batter. So this, this is what it looks like, guys. So do you see that? This is because I have already, let me be 100% honest with you guys, I snatched the muffins out of the oven. They were in there for literally like maybe a minute, if that. I dump it all into this mi the mixing bowl. I pour in the melted butter. I whisk it all up real quick and dump them back in the muffin pans. So, I mean, I guess we're going to see how they taste. I mean, it's the same ingredients, but... Um, honestly, since the chocolate chips started to melt, the batter is definitely going to come out like this color instead of being a white banana, like yellow color with sprinkled chocolate chips. So, yeah. Um, we'll see. We'll see. All right, guys. Moment of truth. So, this may have not went 100% the way it was going to, it was supposed to go. But I promise you, if you follow the recipe to the T, it will turn out fabulous. So, this was our ending result, okay? So, they definitely turned more of a brown because taking them out the oven, throwing in that melted butter, mixed all those chocolate chips up. So, we're going to do a live test, and this is just what it is. We're not going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to let you know, did I mess them up? Go with it now. I've seen them better. Me too. Yeah, see, Mommy definitely knows how to.
to make these muffins, but for getting the melted butter threw me off just a little bit, guys. Um, it's still a little warm. I let them cool for about 10 minutes, but I like them warm. So normally when they come out, they're nice and fluffy. Y'all don't even want to know. They didn't really come out nice and fluffy, but they seem a little moist. So, um, cheers and let's, um, give mommy, give mommy a, a true review. How does it taste good? It tastes perfect to me. It tastes good to me. Well, you know, to me, I guess I'm used to the way they really turn out. Um, I think my thing is normally when you do it the right way, the batter's already in there. You just fold in those chocolate chips. So when you take bites, the chocolate chip pieces really like, you know, melt in your mouth because they're whole. And now they're Celebrate. basically mixed in as a, what, banana chocolate chip? Yeah, the muffin yeah. is chocolate. Look at the inside. <laughs> Definitely not presentation-wise, but... Good enough for us. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey guys, well, Sorry. thanks for joining me for another quarantine cooking video. I hope you, I really, really hope you guys try this recipe. Follow the directions down below to the T. And I promise you have some nice, moist banana chocolate chip muffins. Um, Give me a chance to redo it. And I'm telling you guys, I can prove to you guys this is a bomb recipe because they're nice and moist. And they normally look much better than this. So other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed um this quarantine cooking.